Hello everyone, welcome once again to Ultimate Stock Market Course for Beginners from Zero to Hero. My name is Chetam. So I'm welcoming you guys once again to this course. So we are still in introduction section and in a previous video we tried to go through the 60 top major questions that you guys will be able to answer once you complete this course. So now let's try to move one step ahead. In this course, before we start learning practically and moving to the different section of this course, I would like to establish some expectations, right? So whenever I teach into face-to-face -face classes, so I try to establish some expectations and at the same time I give some promise to my students. So this helps to make sure that you are also on the right track and I am also on the right track and we can understand what we can expect from each other. So I am your coach, I am your teacher and you are my student. So it's necessary to know what are the expectations and what are the promises in this talk, in this course. So expectations. My sincere and humble request is have patience. Many of the students, they are so much, they are excited so much about the stock market that even, you know, they skip the courses. Our life is busy so much that we want to skip everything. Don't do that. Patience is profit. Enjoy your struggle. Enjoy this phase. Okay. Another thing is trust yourself. Stock market can be learned by anyone. But of course it requires certain patience, certain discipline, certain skill. But don't think that, oh, okay, stock market is for, not for me. I don't have a knowledge. I'm a mom or I'm a father or I'm a student. I don't. It's not like that. You have to trust yourself. Believe in yourself. That is the first step to learn any given course or skill. Okay. Then get rid of the opinions you may be you know in touch with your friends your neighbor colleagues they have different opinions about the stock market i have seen sometime they they give you the negative motivation don't enter into the stock market don't do that see everyone has different skill everyone has different knowledge everyone has different discipline just because someone is not able to make money or wealth from the stock market, that doesn't mean you will not be able to do so. What if your luck is really good? What if you are very good for the stock market? Maybe you are missing the big opportunity just on the basis of what you are listening from your neighbors and friends. So don't do that. Have the authentic knowledge. Exper any skill you should be experiment by your with yourself rather than you cannot make life decision based, based on the other people's opinion. Okay. Another thing is if you've decided, then be serious about it. I'm not saying that, okay, be extremely serious. Don't have a fun. No, we will do the fun. We will do the learning. You should be uh, learn with fun. But in the back of the mind, be serious about what you are learning because it's a matter of life and it's a matter of money. Secondly, give yourself time. This means everyone has a different learning capacity. Everyone's mind is differently designed to absorb the learning and information. Sometimes there are few concepts which you won't be able to understand right away. For example, let me give you my example. When I was in a school, I had a hard time little bit with mathematics. Also, although in India, every child should be really good in terms of the mathematics that's how our culture it is but I, I was in school and i was not good at mathematics then i figured out that i need to learn concept at least three to four times so i worked on myself for two years i tried to teach myself in a different manner which was not being done by the teachers and then i was very good into maths now maths is my passion so I, you have to understand yourself, what kind of person you are and what kind of learning capability. You have. It's not about fast or slow. Learning is all about just learning. Secondly, focus on learning. Don't focus on the result right away. Until you don't get involved in the learning process, you, you are not going to get the result. So when you are learning, don't think about making money. Just explore the topic, learn have questions, resolve your own doubts, enjoy this phase. Finally, do not give up. There are most, I believe, there, there are would be millionaires and would be billionaires who are actually skipping the stock market co courses, coaching, because they just give up. 
they may learn even half course they may learn even one course they try with few trades but they are not serious they are not trusting they don't have patience they are not giving themselves time they just want the result and then they give up right so even if you have everything but if you give up not gonna happen sometimes things may look boring sometimes things may even look hard but don't give up trust yourself that's why people who trust themselves do not give up that's why why i am discussing with them why i am discussing this expectation with you because i know this happens and as a coach as your teacher it's my responsibility to discuss these things right during this journey what is my promise i will be providing a rightful and ethical coaching to you guys for me it just not matter that okay i would design one course and put it somewhere no i really like to teach and it will be my rightful coaching for you guys i'll try to make sure the methods are easy and simple to understand i'll try to make sure the whatsoever i'm teaching will add some value to your life at least some value what i like is making you guys capable if someone messages me provides me any feedback and says that yes i become capable in stock market because of you or at least i give you 10 20% credit then i feel really good making someone capable is a huge blessing for me and you can always contact me for additional guidance and support no need to worry about it. whenever you have question whenever you have doubt you can just reach out to me i'll help you out. finally since i am in the stock market it's my responsibility to give you one disclaimer that stock market trading and investment are subject to risk this course is for information and education purposes this course is not the personal financial and investment advice so once you start working in the stock market you will come across a risk kind of disclaimer and it's really necessary because it's a, it's a matter of money so it's also my responsibility and by doing this i am also teaching you that how you should be approaching the stock market and to whom when you try to find the right coach you will know whether they are right coach or not because they are responsible people they give you a front red flags green flags white flag black flags right so what is personal financial investment advice is like when i interact you personally face to face or we may do some agreement legal on that basis i can give you the personal advice then i can profile you what is your age whether you are married or not what is your financial background how much money you are making what what are your goals what is your risk profile it's a very detailed thing as of now i don't know anything right my student can be anyone for this course so i cannot provide the personal financial investment advice the entire course is for the information and educational purposes so there you guys that's the end of our expectation and promise and thank you very much for having the beautiful patience keep this patience and energy with you we are going to move to the practical section right now and we will learn so much good things about the market so i'll see you in next video next section i wish you lots of love and happiness